Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today I have another Christmas DIY. What I'm going to be doing today is making a believe sign out of some letters that I found at Target's dollar spot for Christmas. So let me show you what you'll need. You'll need these uh, letters that came from Target's dollar spot that I hauled and I just wanted to spell believe. You could spell anything that you wanted to and all these letters were a dollar, okay? So you'll need enough letters to spell whatever you want. And then I found these at Michael's, these little snowflakes. I'm gonna use the silver ones. These would even be pretty, maybe in a planner. Um, these were $5, but they were on sale. And then these little candy canes as well. So I'm pretty sure I'm gonna use the candy canes. I know I'm gonna use the snowflakes. Okay, then you're gonna need some Apple Barrel White Acrylic Paint. I bought this at Walmart, and I use it and use it. And then I thought about painting this blue to match my decor, but I think I'm gonna do red and white. So um, you'll need some Apple Barrel Gloss Red Paint. You could use chalk paint, that would work really nicely. My Walmart was sold out, so that's why I didn't. But it's just the gloss. And then you're going to need some glitter. Now, I don't know, I might use this, and I don't know where I purchased this. I really don't know. Um, it would have to be either Walmart, Hobby Lobby, or Michaels, because that's about the only places I go other than AC Moore, and I haven't been there in a while. And then this glitter right here, it was $2.99. I might use it. I think I got this, well, one of those places too. Okay, and everyone always asks me about my glue sticks. I use the Gorilla Glue Sticks. I just had to go get a new pack. That's why I have the bag. Um, but they're at Walmart. I think they're like $7 and something, and I really do like them. Okay, and then I just had some plywood left around the house. I believe this is one-fourth inch, okay? And I had my husband cut it 52 inches long. We're almost finished with all of our plywood that we had left over. So it's 52 inches long and 13 inches wide, okay? And then I wanted to make little strips to go down the side, so he took a one by four, and he cut the one by four into three fourth inch strips with a circular saw. You could use a different type of saw. And the, the sides for my sign are gonna be 52 inches long so you'll need two of these strips cut at 52 inches long and they are 3 4 inch strips okay and then you're going to need two for the top and bottom cut at 11 and a half inches okay so let me go ahead and start painting this i put some um brown paper on my um counter here hopefully I won't I can't get anything on it so it's just gonna have to work I think I need Santa's workshop <laughs> I think that's what I need all right so what we're gonna do is just let me let me bend this down so you can see you're also gonna need a glue gun and some foam brushes. Okay, so I have a wider brush here, a smaller brush, and then one of these itty bitty little brushes. I've hooked another light in um, because the way the sun is coming over, it looks to me like it's kind of dark. Okay. Okay, so we're just gonna put some of this out. In my plate and you've seen me do this so many times I'm not gonna seal this because I don't think I'll need to and I'm just going to paint it right on there not real thick just so that it hides the wood so when I get this all painted red then I'll be right back okay guys I have painted this, all the bottom of the sign basically red, all the sign is red. I originally was going to make it white and then I got so busy into what I was doing so my sign is now red with white letters. It was going to be 
white with red letters, but it really isn't gonna matter. It's gonna be really pretty. So now all I'm gonna do is paint my letters white and then I'll be back. Okay, I thought I'd show you how I'm doing my letters. Um, I'm going ahead and just, I didn't prime them or anything, um, and it's working out really well. I'm just putting my white paint on it. And at first I just put it on there. I mean, I try to go in the direction that I wanted. It's a lot easier. And then I go over it with another coat and then I sprinkle my glitter on it because I want the letters to have a very cold and frosty look. And it's working out really nicely. I do this almost all the time when I want something like this glitter. Then I go back over it with light strokes with more paint in the direction that I want it to go. And then I just get my glitter. I'm going to fix this right here. Then I just get my glitter and I sprinkle it on here and it will stay. Um, because I had a command hook my um, fall yard flag sign that had the um, scarecrow on it fell off the wall because a command hook broke and my glitter stayed on and it hit the table and everything. Okay, I don't know if you can see, let me unplug this light, but there, it's so frosty. It's very glittery. So I just wanted to show you that and then I'll be back once I get everything uh, painted. Okay, what we're going to do next is glue this, the sides here, like a frame basically, on the top of this. And we're also going to be giving it support. Now, my wood bowed just a so little. I'm hoping that I won't have any trouble getting it to go down. And I'm just going to put my glue. Um, you can definitely use E6000. I mean, if you're going to keep this, well, I don't have any trouble with my glue, but if you think you might have some trouble, definitely use combination of E6000 and the hot glue. Um, to do that, all you do is put E6000 down, and then you take your hot glue and put it with it, and it definitely will help. The hot glue holds the E6000, and I gotta make sure I get this right. And you can use clamps, I just don't have any. I need to get some. But you can press this down just for a little bit. This Gorilla Glue is really good. I highly recommend Gorilla Glue. Okay. And I think that is going to be perfect. Okay, and that's what we're getting. Going to do the same thing right here. We don't have much more to do, and we will have our very own custom sign. You could paint this any color that you wanted to. I'm going to make another sign. I don't know if it will be before my home tour or after it. Um, I may have to still do some DIYs after my home tour for Christmas. It just depends. Okay, and then we're going to flip this over, do this the same way. Just try to make sure that you're level, even, and then just press down. And it will do the rest. And it doesn't help that I'm hanging over the edge of my counter. and just keep pressing but I love this glue not sponsored nothing just truly I love it okay now all we're gonna do 
This is what we have so far. I think it is adorable, you can see. Now we're gonna go in here and just glue this right in here at the top. Try to make sure that you get it flush. <clears throat> Maybe this one goes at the top. Like I said, it's really good. Let me see what I can do. I'll be okay, back. Okay, like I said, when that glue goes on, it's on. So I can't get it. Um, I should have dry fit it first. It looks like it's lined up. I don't know if the wood could have done something or what. So I'm going to leave my bottom off. No problem at all, okay? Now all we have to do is just put our letters out, and these are still kind of tacky, actually. Where we want them. Let me get my stool. I think I want them down about, I want to be centered. Let's look. If I start this top one down about three inches, and you can measure this out, I'm just going to eyeball it and make sure you spell it right. <laughs> I can see me getting messed up and switching the letters around just like I started to do. Yeah, I can put more space between them. No, maybe not. I need to scoot them up. I know I need to go up a little bit. Okay, let's look at that. I think I like that. So I'm going to start gluing these down. And hopefully I can get them back where I want them. Because I'm telling you with this glue... Once it goes down, it's there. I think this is cute. And you could embellish it further. You could make it striped down the side like a candy cane on the edge. I think that would be pretty. Pop 
possibilities are endless. And these signs are really pricey when you um, go out and buy them. And it didn't take us any time at all. To do this. And you can do it in whatever colors that you like or fit your decor. I mean, these letters are pricey. If you go out and just buy letters, they're very pricey, so when I saw these at Target's dollar spot, I was like, yes. Okay. Okay, now this is what we have so far. It's so big, it's so hard to show it, but it really is pretty, and those letters, they just sparkle. I love it, okay. So now what we're going to do is look at our candy cane, and these are stickers, so we won't even need our glue gun. So I think I'll unplug it. And I just want to give this a little bit of pizzazz. Oh, I love it, love it, love it. So cold. Ugh. I think that is cute. Maybe I need to put one. Hmm. I'll put this one about here. And then move this one up here. And that one there. And I could put one maybe right there. Move this one here. And put this one over there. It's just however you like it. And you could even, let's see what that looks like. Oh, I like that. And then let's see if we want to use the candy canes. When I saw these, I was like, mm-hmm, perfect. Maybe, let's just look and see. I don't want it too busy because I think that will detract, but maybe just a few candy canes. Let's see, do I like it like this? Do I like it up or do I like it tilted? I kind of like it tilted. I might put one there. Okay, I like that pretty well. All right, so I'm gonna go around here and start putting this down. But all you do is just start it to peel off. Press it down. I think I will use my glue gun because it takes a while to peel these off. And I don't have a while. And this will stick. Oh, that's pretty. I think though I like the effect of them not glued down, just stuck down. Okay, I found an easier way to do. You get it, you pull one end down and then you just start taking it from the center 
and it pulls all this off. So I really like that. So now, we'll put that there. And like I said, when I get this finished, I'll be back. Hey okay, guys, here it is. I just love it. It is so cold looking and happy to me. I hope you can see the glitter. It's just so shiny. And I really like those stickers that I used after I figured out how to get them off. <laughs> but I love it. And when my husband comes home, I'm gonna see if he can cut a little bit off of that so I can slip it in the bottom. But you really wouldn't even need it to. But you can hang this, you can just lean it. It is so large. You can do so much with this and they are so pricey when you see them out in a store. And you can write absolutely anything you want on it. And um, these letters are pricey when you buy them out. So I was glad to find them at Target's Dollar Spot. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, bye guys.